It has almost been a year since the game released, and now that we have Etna's Resort, the question is, are you using it correctly? Hello everyone, I'm JC, and today I'll explain how Etna's Resort works and give you some tips on how to optimize your resources. I'll leave timestamps in the description so that you can move quickly to whatever part you're most interested in. The first thing that you want to know about this facility is that, as many others, it has a progression system. Whenever you level up, you unlock different features in the resort, but don't mind that, because you'll level up fast. On Edna's throne you will see the move Innocent and Donate Equipment icons, which will allow you to dispose of Innocents and max level items, in exchange for points. This will be used to level up Edna's throne. Also, after acquiring a certain amount of points, you will receive random rewards, depending on what you're donating. If you donate equipment, you will receive Prini Steel or Pop Boosters. For Innocents, you get obedience medals, innocent recipes, innocent caretakers, or grazing tickets. The Prini Workshop is where you use your Prini Steels and Pop Boosters. The Refined Equipment option gives you a chance to increase the rarity of a max level item, but in exchange, it consumes the Prini Steel and resets the level of an item. The item's rarity directly affects its category and stats. Rare items become legendary as Rarity 70, and Rarity 100 items are stronger than Rarity 99 items. Most people would think resetting the level of an item is a bad thing, but it's actually very good, because if you do this on a legendary item, you can clear all floors except the last one, and farm another legendary item. This allows you to get practically an unlimited amount of legendary items. Then we have the Expand option, which allows you to increase the innocent capacity of an item. Unlike the previous option, this one is guaranteed, but pop boosters are not as common as Prini Steel, so be careful on how you use them. The max pop of an item depends on its status. Legendary items can have up to 10 innocent slots, and rare items can have up to 6. I would suggest you use your pop boosters only on legendary items, and preferably on rarity 100 items or close to it. You can also use it to max out the last slots of an item to complete your farming sets. The Innocent Ranch is where you can enhance your innocence. Here you will use Obedience Medals, Innocent Recipes, Innocent Caretakers, or Grazing Tickets. I would suggest you use your Caretakers for the main stats on Rare Innocence with a value of 4 or higher, because after 4.5, when you get a not bad or higher result, they will evolve into a Legendary Innocent. You don't want to max the main stat Innocence, because Ancient Innocence can be made with the lowest Legendary Innocence, so it's not worthy to invest more on Legendary Innocence. On the other hand, EXP, HL, Speed, and Special Innocence should be maxed out, because there is no Ancient variant of those. But then again, try to invest on High Rarity Innocence. The breeding option allows you to fuse innocents into a stronger version of them. Here you will use your recipes as well as your legendary innocents. A legendary innocents value goes from 5.5 to 6%, while ancient innocents are 9%. To create an ancient innocent, you have to fuse three legendary innocents of a specific species and use a recipe. You would think it's better to keep three of the lowest legendary innocents instead of making an ancient one, since the three of them would give you more stats, but if we compare one ancient with one legendary, the ancient is always better. The only exception for this would be the weapon mastery and the skill enhancers. They're rare to get, so fuse them whenever you have more than you need. Next is the merge function. You can combine amplifiers to make better ones, but even the almighty gold amplifier is not as good as the ancient innocents, so I wouldn't recommend to invest on them. Grace allows you to change the innocent species, which will become a necessity when using the breeding function. You can use type tickets or individual tickets. The type tickets will change the species into a random species of a specific pool. Don't disregard this option, because they're very good. Most species in each pool match the requirement for a set of Ancient Innocents, so you will need to roll on all three categories to make one Ancient Innocent. The individual tickets allow you to decide which species you want to turn them into, but these tickets are very rare due to the large number of species, so use them carefully. The Depository is a facility where you can put items. Every time you clear 10 floors in the item world, the items in the Depository will gain a level. And as long as you have obedience medals, the innocence in the item will be subdued, so this is a good way to guarantee you subdue any legendary innocence you find. On the check statue option, you can check the progress of your item. 
and once they are max leveled, you can donate them directly, but if you're trying to auto sub to innocents, don't use that button. The deposit button is where you select items that you want to put in this facility. Since the main appeal of the depository is the ability to auto subdue without using bribe materials, try to put all the items with good innocents here, and if you don't care about maxing their level, just take them out as soon as you have the innocents. But if you want to max out common items, three full runs of legendary items should do the trick. The request board is a set of missions you get each day, which will grant you a wide range of materials that you can use on the resort. If you want, you can use the Refresh Reward button to get new missions, but it will cost you 10 nether quartz. I would advise against it, since it's better to just farm items and donate them. Also, remember to do as many missions as possible. You can skip some of the ones which give you Prini Steel, but those which give you Caretakers and Pop Booster are a must do each day. Just to finish, I will give you a couple tips so that you optimize your time on Etna's Resort. Farm your equipment shop daily to see if you get any legendary innocence. Rare Foundation and Ambition Innocence are good too. I personally keep any rare innocent. Only use your innocence on near max rare innocence and legendary rank 40 items. Prioritize farming innocence. You will end up using more materials for innocence than weapons. That's all for today, folks. Tell me what you want to see next on the comments. How to optimize your damage and rates, or an explanation of what are the things that you should be looking for in a main DPS. If you find this useful, share, like, Comment, whatever you want. See you next time.